What's up guys? My name is Brian. I am I play for charity. Welcome on Nintendo. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to solo Dragon Vault runs. Now, I'll preface this by saying this is not the only way you can accomplish this. However, after testing a couple different frames and setups, this is what worked best for me. So some of you may be new or returning players, possibly looking online at builds for frames and guns, only to discover that they require these mods that you may have never seen before. Mods like Heavy Caliber, Transient Fortitude, or Blind Rage. Well, these are special corrupted mods that are hidden inside vaults among the Auric and Derelict missions, and they are only available from these vaults. Now, the most efficient way to do this is with a group of four where you can all split the keys, but sometimes that's not possible, whether you just don't have people to play with or you don't want to mess with recruiting chat. So I'm here to tell you one way that you can complete these missions quickly and safely, all by your lonesome, and still have fun doing it. In order to do this solo, it's going to take a little preparation. You need to make sure you are loaded up on Auric and Derelict keys, and I recommend the capture mission type, as it is the fastest, as well as all four dragon key types, bleeding, decaying, extinguished, and hobbled. The blueprints for all of these can be found in the Auric and Lab research room in your clan dojo. You will also need the frame Anaros. This mummy type warframe has incredible armor and health and will help keep you alive during this mission alone. If you don't have a Naros yet, his quest blueprint is available from Baro Katir every other Friday at a relay in your star chart. The Naros quest is relatively quick and actually pretty fun. So let's take a quick look at these mods that uh, we need for this build. And considering you're probably watching this not having done very many Dragon Vault runs, or any at all, I've created a very simple build that does not include any of the corrupted mods that you would get from the vaults. And as you see here, this setup actually requires very few mods at all. And since you will be carrying all four dragon keys at once, you will need to try to counteract all their debuffs as best you can. The decaying key reduces shields by 75%, but with the Naros, all he has is health and no shields, so that's negated completely right out of the gate. Boosting a Naros' health pool with vitality can be crucial, and it gives you just over a thousand health to counter the bleeding key, which reduces your health by 75%. Next, you need Rush to increase your movement speed as the hobbled key will reduce your sprint speed by 50%. Adding something like steel fiber will increase your armor and therefore your toughness, giving you survivability. In the Aura slot, you can use something like Rejuvenation if you have it, which will increase your health over the uh, course of the mission, but it's definitely not necessary. And if you have more uncommon mods like Vigor, Armored Agility, Speed Drift, or Gladiator Resolve, these can be added for icing on the cake, but are definitely not required. And finally, the Extinguished Key will be giving you 75% less damage, so you will need to come locked and loaded with your best weapons, focusing on those that deal impact damage and use Toxin Element. Now it should be noted that if you have finished the War Within quest and have access to your Operator and a good Amp, you can kill the Capture Target with your Operator, as they are not affected by the debuffs. Once you're in the mission, make sure to find and capture the target before searching the map for the vault. When the target has been captured, pull up your larger map by pressing M and start hunting. Make sure to look in every nook and cranny for the vault door as it can be hard to find sometimes. When you approach the vault door, all you have to do is press X and enter as you have every key in your inventory. Once you have collected the glowing orb from inside, rush to the exit and your randomly generated corrupted mod will appear in your rewards list. So there you have it, overextended in the rewards list you see there as a mod. That is your corrupted mod from that mission. Congratulations. If you have multiple dragon keys in your inventory, you can just continue to run the mission without updating your gear wheel. But remember to take all of your dragon keys off before you continue with uh, different mission types because the debuffs will remain on there if your keys are still in your inventory. So that's it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this build. Hopefully it works out for you and you're able to run these vaults by yourself and have a lot of fun doing it. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Um, follow me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash I play for charity. Um, and come say hi in the chat over there when I'm streaming live. But um, that's, like I said, it for this video. Hopefully you liked it and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.